Hi, Tribe Forex Traders. Today is July 1st, 2015, and here we go again. Um, what's there to talk about? So we've, we've had quite a move down in the markets on the euro dollar and on different currency pairs. And, um, you know, there's not much to say besides there's a, there's a, a, a quite a bit of vacillation in the markets as far as what's going to happen fundamentally with Europe, with the euro, with the euro zone. So we're going to have this back and forth, and we're having this play back and forth here. Right now, we're at an area of support at the pod B strong. Um, either price is going to break, continue to is going to bounce off this area and head back up, or we're going to see a move down. And so for that reason, we're going to put actually something that we a little different of a call. We're going to have a 110.42 sell on the euro. So you'll get into it on the auto bias um, if price comes back to it or on the auto rev, but we're already above that area, it's going to have to come below and then try to retrace to that area because that is an area of support. So 110.42 is going to be a sell on the euro dollar. Um, the dollar Swiss, the dollar Swiss is um, got a really nice area of support here. So if, sell, if we get a sell off here on the dollar Swiss and uh, then we get down to 94.34, we're going to take a 94.30 buy on the dollar Swiss at the 800 EMA and at these different areas of support and resistance. Okay, that's the dollar Swiss. Now the pound dollar, pound dollar has a beautiful reversal candle which intersects with uh, a nice trend line, pod one strong and a pod three strongest. Um, what does that mean for us? That means that we have a very nice buy opportunity right now and that would be, uh, I would, you know, put a, either you can take the buy here on the four hour or you can set up a line at 1.5600 to take a buy um, right there at that area on the pound dollar. All right, so the dollar yen, we we're thinking about calling a buy here on this reversal candle at the pot one strong, and we did call a buy, but you know it ended up going right off the reversal candle right at 122.30 instead of 122.00. Um, that happens sometimes. So no call there. Aussie dollar, we've got no call. New Zealand dollar, we've got a sell. We've been in a sell trend on the New Zealand dollar. Uh, we're going to take a sell at 68.22 or 68.20, 0 0.6820. And so that's going to be our last call. So we've got four calls. We've got non-farm payroll tomorrow. A lot's going to go on. A lot's going to happen, and we've got to be prepped for it. Um, as far as the trade copier clients are concerned, uh, we've got our same trades that are currently on. We hit our first take profit on the sell side, and uh, we're looking to add on to that sell side position at, at 110.42. So watch out for that. All the best, guys. Those are our trades. We'll talk to you uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.